In this week of The Bachelor, we find out who's going to hometowns. It's down to the final six women, but after tonight, only four will remain. Not only that, they will be taking Joey home to meet their families. And in the words of Bobby Caldwell, What you won't do, to do for love. Surely not chug a white, curdled substance in the woods. Wow. This is Fleek Reality, here with your portion of reality and everything you need to know about episode 7 of season 28 of The Bachelor. We get another flash forward of Maria, this time having more problems with Joey. Bringing you to meet my family, knowing that you are that way with these other women, it's just doesn't sit right with me. Will she break up with him? Maybe, but Joey loves Canada. So how could he let his Canadian love Maria go? We are in Jasper National Park in Alberta, Canada, and it is absolutely beautiful here. Before we get to all that, the show begins with our eye candy. I I'm sorry, our bachelor featured on the back of a motorcycle. Talk about a strong start to an episode. The six remaining women arrive at Jasper National Park in two SUVs, and one of them contains Joey's future wife or a contractual girlfriend for a year or so. Whatever works. The producers get Joey and Jesse Palmer to play tennis against one another. They have some much needed boy talk. Obviously the biggest week yet. I'm, I'm really excited about each of these six women, but this is a very purposeful week. I'm not taking hometowns lightly in any way. And Jesse is incredible at feigning interest in it. As the ladies gather in their quaint cabin in the woods, the first one-on-ones get announced, and it's Daisy. Daisy, let's ride off into the sunset together. <laughs> Daisy! <Don't you. laughs> Horseback riding. And Jen, not being picked, looks like she just wants to crawl underneath the cabin. Daisy has her bags packed and ready to get eliminated, because at this point, if the date doesn't go well, you can be ousted at any moment. But she's excited to see Joey, and Joey seems to be excited about her, but just a bit worried about her commitment. Today, I just really want to make sure we are on the same page and the feelings are developing together, because I can see it. Daisy wants to let Joey know that she is not in love with him, and he has a lot more to prove. I really, really like you, but like, am I there yet? No. Which is a very normal stance at this point in their relationship, but not at all normal in a bachelor relationship. Stick to the script, Daisy. Joey, unbothered by her indifference, offers Daisy the rose, which guarantees her going to the next round of the competition. So Daisy, <laughs> would you accept this rose? Yes. Yeah. Can we say hometowns, girl? The group date starts by forcing the women to compete as lumberjills? They openly hate this challenge. And who can blame them? What is cute though, or possibly sad, unsure yet. They all decided to wear the same puffer jacket on the date. On this lumberjill date, Maria fails miserably. I don't usually do the outdoors. Like I'm not an outdoorsy kind of gal. I don't camp, I glamp. Like I'm a little lost in this. Not bad. But after all the axe swinging, log rolling, and the uneasiness of watching Rachel drink elk milk chug. So I'm a lactose intolerant and I'm allergic to milk protein, but I'm gonna drink this elk milk. Oh. Do what you gotta do to get to hometowns, and that's what I'm focused on. Kelsey T, the girl in the green puffer with sleeves, ends up taking the W. Kelsey, you're the winner of today's Ultimate Lumber Gel competition. Yeah. But who's the real winner? Because Jen decides to take matters into her own hands. Sure, she may have lost the lumber gel competition, but she found a way to make out with Joey anyway. And she did so by bombarding him in his straight to camera interview. Hello. Hi. What's up? Just so wanted to steal you for a little good luck kiss. Oh, did you know? Mm hmm. With a ticked off Maria standing on the sidelines looking to channel her inner Jason Voorhees. Do they forget that I have an axe? Seeing Jen kiss Joey made me sick to my stomach. Disappointing. No, fine, whatever. The other women hate it too. What the hell? Are you for real right now? <laughs> but who cares? It's time for the after party. During Jen's short one-on-one -on -one time, she reminds Joey that her family's situation isn't typical. My family's complicated. Mm -hmm. With hometowns, it's like, it's like a comparison. It's like, who are you gonna feel most comfortable with? And it's not gonna be my family. Like having like American culture and then like Vietnamese culture. That's fine for real life, but for ABC, I don't think so, Jen. The mouse is always watching. Next up, Maria uses her time with Joey to discuss some things that are bothering her. My biggest fear would be like 
doing all this and not ending up with you. It just, it's gone the best of me and... Um... Maria has caught feelings and hates seeing Joey with other girls and she wants out. I don't know, I'm, I just, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know. If that ain't love, I don't know what is. But will she pull Alexi and dip out? <clears throat> After a nail-biting commercial break, Maria returns. Um. Joey has a hard decision to make for the group date, Rose. It's so confusing. Am I just being an idiot and I'm falling and, 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 and investing in these women that maybe don't see it with me? Right now, there's three women that have proved that they want a future with him and have told him as much. And then there's Maria, the girl who love-bombed him, left, and then love-bombed him again. Joey decides that this episode's rose ceremony would be boring if you only give out just one rose. So he keeps tonight's rose for himself. Tonight... I cannot give out this rose to anyone. I need more time. Now, where has Kelsey A been? Oh, prepping for her one-on-one -on -one date, of course. Hi. How are you? How are you, How are you feeling? Good, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> On Joey and Kelsey's date in Canada, they hit up a touristy gift shop and tried on some sunglasses. This turns out to be absolutely hilarious to them. They also get some hot cocoa and play some pool. But the cool thing about their date is that they're going to do a polar plunge. That's exactly what it sounds like. Getting down to your skivvies and jumping into a freezing cold lake. Yay, fun. Kelsey is excited. I am ecstatic. It's gonna be a bonding experience. I know, like, he's not done this, I haven't done this, so I think it's gonna be fun to do it together. But Joey needs a little more convincing. I am excited, but I'm also nervous. I don't do well in the cold, and it's cold. Luckily, Kelsey A easily convinces Joey to take the polar plunge. Sure, I'll admit there was something slightly off about the Viking helmets that ABC let them wear, but I'm gonna consider it an oversight. After that daring plunge, oh, so cool. this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they head straight into a sauna, and inside their cute little sauna, they can't keep their hands off each other despite it being completely see-through. Later on at the dinner portion of their date, Kelsey gets emotional talking about her father because, as she explains, they've gotten much closer since the passing of her mother. It's like he's the person I run to whenever I'm happy or I'm sad. And definitely like in happy and sad moments, I think that I really miss my mom, but I know that I have my dad that I can lean on. Joey seems to really like this one. So, Kelsey, would you accept this rose? Of course. Thank you so much. So that means he's going to New Orleans to find out what the A in Kelsey A stands for. Later on, Joey decides to skip the cocktail party. There's not going to be a cocktail party tonight. That hurts because he knows who's getting the roses at the rose ceremony tonight. Or does he? Because at the ceremony, Joey makes a last minute decision to take Maria to the side. Rachel isn't exactly pleased about their special one-on-one -on -one time. <laughs> After a very short, and I mean short, rose ceremony, Kelsey T and Jen get eliminated. Strange how the only two women who expressed concern to Joey about their family dynamics were eliminated right before hometowns. And that wraps it up for episode seven, season 28 of The Bachelor. Were you surprised by Joey's picks? Is Maria toxic or just in love? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and make sure you hit that like and subscribe so you can stay in the loop with Fleek Reality. Thanks for watching.